uh, with Leo Gazami, exclusive interview. And then we have uh, the Alex Jones show with Larry Klayman and more back tomorrow for three hours and then an hour of overdrive uh, after that. Uh, so that is what is coming up. I need to get into the news now. Uh, but coming up at the start of the next segment, uh, I'll go to Jakari Jackson or I'll go to Darren McBreen or I'll go to Rob Jacobson, really talented video editors. And they'll put together something that talk radio has done for decades. A one-minute, a two-minute, a three-minute promo using interesting clips from the news and current events mixed in with movies and things. And I started doing this, taking clips of films like 1984 and Brazil and others and mixing it in with my own show or other news events and airing it on Access TV 20 years ago. And folks really liked it. And then it became some of the first viral videos once viral video was allowed to operate and there were some platforms in the last 16, 17 years. But we've really, I think, brought it to a new level here. We have new ones every week. Uh, Darren McBreen has spent a few weeks off and on working on the one we're going to premiere today. Because the Matrix is one of the best allegories or parables or parallels uh, in fiction to the type of world we're entering into. Literally. That's where the technocracy, where the THX 1138, Brave New World, Philip K. Dick, Wirehead, cyberpunk dystopia is going because it's a plan to take us there. The globalists have a brand new God, the God of false reality, the God of synthetic death. And I'll assure you, studying it and peering into it, swimming in it, that it is not a good place to go. And you can see the fruits of it all around you. So there's the war between false reality and reality, and all we're offering is the truth, nothing more. Now, to illustrate why independent, liberty-based, naked media is so important, there's an article on Infowars.com right now. Now, when I first learned about something similar to this in 2003, from a news site, Al Martin Raw, I went to the Congressional Funding Office online. It wasn't Biz Ops at the time, it was another one. And I actually found where Marcus Wolf was paid $900,000 in one year alone, and over several years, he was paid even more, it was like $3 million, to establish the Department of Homeland Security. Now, again, back then, I thought I was hardcore and knew a lot, but I thought that was made up. I mean, I had the guy on the show. I said, I don't believe it. I went and looked it up. Later, it became mainstream news. Just like I didn't believe when somebody called me and said, I have a tape of CBS News saying mercury is good for children's brains. Or, hey, we got a clip out of PBS Boston where they have the inventor of the polio vaccine admitting they knew it was going to kill hundreds of millions of people because it had SV40 cancer virus in it. And it... And they laughed and said, good, there's too many people. And then the tape came in the mail. I used to get these calls at the office that I or a secretary would take. I had like one person answer the phones. And people would tell me, no, I haven't. It would come in the mail. Uh, stuff like that. Well, this ex stasi agent is hired to run Germany's censorship of xenophobic Facebook posts. We are literally battling former Stasi commanders. There's a new one. Wolf, Wolf's dead. This is who we have trying to censor our post in Germany ourselves. Ladies and gentlemen, the technocrats admit that they are using human technology and our system to build a world designed to destroy what's left of humans, designed to make us obsolete. The statements I just made are repeats of every major computer company expert that's spoken out. All the major billionaires metaphysically have a law they must follow to tell you what they're going to do to you before they do it to you. And that's the word that's trickled down why I'm even tolerated, is that it's believed that you're so unconscious and so stupid that you're not going to listen to what we're saying so it won't matter. Well, all I know is my heart, my gut, my soul, my intellect, my will, and I know your will as well, will not sit here and go quietly 
into this modern soul-sucking system. Whether it was built by men or entities from the center of a black hole, we can debate that all day long. But where this fantastical world is hurtling is a very, very nasty place. And there are seven and a half billion people on this club who know there's a problem, who know the planet's being killed, who are seeking after the truth, who know that the danger is increasing in their gut, but also intellectually. And they are seeking, always seeking, to try to warn others, but trying to also inform themselves. I want to get into the rest of the news and some more key information, but I want to go back to what I talked about before the break. Because we're all dumb as dirt to some extent. We're all in denial. We're all ignorant. It's a learning process. And the more you learn, the more you don't know. You see the confidence of the dumbed-down masses who have no culture, no ritual, no history, no future. They've been destroyed. They've been turned into mindless vessels that imprint on whatever the latest propaganda is. They don't even know how shocking it is to learn 13, 14 years ago that Marcus Wolf, the former head of the infamous Stasi, the most oppressive, all-encompassing police state the world had ever seen, had been hired to found the Department of Homeland Security. And there it was in the congressional record. There was the funding. And he was hired for the next four or five years till he died. And they hired other top Stasi and other former KGB and NKVD of the Soviet Union to come here. That's why it looks just like that, because that's what it is. And then I get up and I read Paul Joseph Watson's article that links directly to major German newspapers that report on this like they're talking about something good. Oh, thank gosh, we're fighting the racism of people that don't want totally open borders with the Middle East and North Africa. They've got this woman here that looks like a joke out of a Nazi movie, you know, some weird control freak woman in her uniform. Sitting there in her power tripping, you know, uh, repose. Ex-Stasi agent hired to censor xenophobic Facebook post. German government cracks down dissent against migrant flux. How about illegal hordes? The German government and Facebook are working with an organization led by the ex-Stasi agent to oversee a new program that will identify xenophobic posts while the social network website has pushed and punished people who make them with fines and jail sentences. So if you make a comment against open borders, that's judged as racist, that you don't want to pay for somebody who openly says they don't like your culture. And so now you're going to be fined and jail sentences. And this is really happening. I mean, we link to the mainstream German articles that report on this like it's good. Sweden's really making people house illegals. They're really telling women, don't wear short miniskirts. It angers the radical Muslims. This is really happening. Look at the latest headlines up on Drudge today. They're also on InfoWars. All hell breaks loose on Hungary border. Tear gas, water cannon, rioting refugees, pelt police with giant rocks, a la Akbar roar. Migrants overrun police at border crossing. We're actually seeing the collapse, not just financially, but culturally right now, as Europe prepares to collapse under the EU into a new EU super state where there's no rights, no freedoms, and no sovereignty in their own words. Create the crisis, offer the solution. They'll let, as I said years ago and months ago, enough people that won't assimilate into the West, put them under socialist indoctrination and welfare. Uh, they'll bring in enough to checkmate any political move against the globalist. Then they're going to totally seal the borders and use that as a police state to keep you from ever getting out. You'll demand a police state to protect you. And in the interim, they will. And the average cop or military person is facing incredible odds and is a good person. But if you look at the entire engineering and the paradigm, it is the end of Europe. The fall of freedom, the fall of the Renaissance. And now, into the void comes the Stasi. 
The German Minister of Justice, Kiko Maas, met with Facebook this week to form a special task force that will work to remove comments from the website that call for hatred against migrants. See, by criticizing and saying we shouldn't have to pay for them, that calls for hatred. The organization will be overseen by Network Against Nazis. Oh, isn't that nice? Nets Gegen Nazis, a group led by left-wing activist Anita, how do you pronounce that? K-A-H-A-N-E, Anita Kahane. Kahane, that sounds Scottish or Irish, doesn't sound German. Although Kahane now describes herself as an anti-racist, oh, aren't they all? She was in, that's <laughs> the same thing, Soros stuff. She was intimately involved in another dark period of German history, working as a Stasi informant under the code name Victoria during her most oppressive era, 1974 to 1982. The Stasi, which liaised with the Soviet KGB, was the official secret police of the former communist government of East Germany. Its role was to spy on the population and use its vast network of informants to hunt down political dissidents. Numerous Stasi members were prosecuted for their crimes after the fall of the Berlin Wall in 89. Last week, Chancellor Angela Merkel, whose father and mother were in the Stasi, I mean, total communist, look it up. I mean, they, 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 well, they actually commanded them. I'm sorry, they were above them. Vowed to tackle racist comments made on social media sites. Yeah, they've banned demonstrations, describing them as sedition. It's sedition to not want your country destroyed and demanding that Facebook take action. 25 years of German reunification, former DDR citizens along with their West German brothers and sisters are to be monitored by former Stasi cadres, notes the German website PI News. A report in Bild also confirms the network against Nazis led by this woman was involved in monitoring Facebook for racist and xenophobic comments as well as refugee baiting remarks. Those found guilty will be hit with fines of around 5,000 euros and 120 days in prison. This is in mainstream news. They're not playing games. This is EU-wide, folks. We were in Spain. They came over and erased our footage, took our cameras, threatened to put us in jail. And we weren't even trying to film the police. But, but it was on the news that you couldn't do it. Criticism of government? Anyway, you're arrested. It's on. Man, you got to read the rest of it. It's up on Infowars.com. This story needs to go viral. They can't arrest us yet in the United States, so they're trying to pass laws. That's why it's more important than ever. Before Europe fell, I had to get over there. I may go back to document what's happening in Germany. See, I told you, they start with saying if you deny the Holocaust or if you say 5,999,000 people died, they will put you in prison for life over there. Even if you're a U.S. citizen and they grab you or a Canadian citizen. And whereas I don't like the Nazis either, that's just one group, bad group for another, the Nazis aren't in control. The socialists, the communists, working for people like George Soros and the big above-the-law banks are, and they want the president to arrest whoever they want. So it sounds reasonable. Oh, let's find somebody that says Hitler was great. No, you take somebody's free speech away. Next, it's you can't preach the gospel. That's now happened. You can't criticize the open borders. That's now happened. You're going to have former Stasi over you, whether you're in Spain or whether you're in Germany. And notice it's Germany and Spain, more than anybody, directing the police state again in Europe. The EU was the project of the Nazis. I'm not saying it's a Nazi conspiracy. They simply took over what the Germans tried to set up under the Nazis and are now running the same playbook but pushing it as politically correct. <sighs> That's just some of what's coming up. There is so much more, but it is earth-shaking to see this. That's why we need to be on satellite over the United States, which we are, now are. Go to Infowars.com forward slash affiliates to see all the details. Go to Infowars.com forward slash money bomb to see all the details. Go to InfoWars.com where we just posted a red link, InfoWars live feed, 28-hour special broadcast, and send that link on Facebook and Twitter and everywhere else you can out. Now, the way this works is we've had Facebook and Twitter censor us a lot for criticizing Benghazi response, for 
putting Obama up there and saying the word crap.